Hello YouTube, I'm looking to share with you today my Stone Age toolkit. Uh, this is basically the type of thing I carried for a long time, uh, anytime I was going into the bush or into the wilderness, and uh, it's pretty primitive. It's all stone tools, all Stone Age technology, um, all the pieces in here pretty much are, are made using stone tools um, or things that I've gathered. Uh, so it's, it's pretty primitive, um, I really like working with these materials and these tools. So, you know, that I thought maybe you might be interested in it. Um, basically what I've got here is a, is a buckskin bag. This is made out of pronghorn antelope from Montana. And uh, I brain tanned this and then smoked it to, to uh, give it this kind of color. Um, the color's fading a little bit going back to its original sort of white buckskin color. Um, I've also got my bow here, which is also a brain tanned buckskin string. And here's just a, a hammer stone. I, I've actually been using this for quite some time. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much made totally round uh, from being used. So it just feels really good in the hand. And it's a very effective little hammer stone. I quite like it. Um, and this is just some tinder I actually collected on the way down into this creek bed. Um, as you know, I'm always on the search for tinder or materials I can use. It's just a constant search. And uh, I think that's a good way to, to be if you're on the landscape because you're constantly being aware of what's around you and sort of taking in those details. So, yeah, that's just something I found on the way in. Now, as for what's in my bag, I've got a uh, fire kit bag, which is made out of a muskrat pelt. Um, this one was actually given to me by my mum. So I just, yeah, it's got a bit of sentimental value to me, but I just keep my my bow drill pieces in here. Got spindles, fireboards. Not sure if you guys can hear it, but it's actually started to rain. We haven't had rain for weeks, and of course, as soon as I start to make a, a video, it starts to rain. It's probably not good to be <laughs> ringing out my my fire making kit in the rain. I think that's all this, the spindles, but I've got a couple of different spindles there, a couple of different fireboards. I sort of chop and change them and uh, mix them up um, just to sometimes, you know, it might not work with a certain combination of wood, um, but typically I think, I'm trying to remember which the combination I've got, I think that one is goes with that, that board there. That's a spare. That's just grass tree. Um, that one is, I believe that's flame tree and a, uh, Bougainvillea fireboard. I've also got here a polypore and it's a bit different from the ones that I've, I'm used to but it still works fine, it still holds a coal. I've got my handhold here from my, from my fire set. It's just an elk bone. I collected this in Montana. I've had this for a number of years now, and it's just really quite good. Got a bit of cordage there. I usually just carry a few bits of pieces of cordage. Some of them are longer than others, uh, made from various materials. That one's tree bast fiber, I believe. I'm not sure which tree that one is, but it's just a, a good bit of robust rope. Um, I carry, obviously I carry a few stone tools, that's just a little biface knife. No hafting on it, I just use that with my hand. This one's my neck knife, and I have it in here a couple of other tools. I've got a pressure flaker and a sewing awl made out of a deer leg bone. And that's my knife there. It's just a bit of hafted uh, Texas chert. With a, uh, with a box elder handle wrapped in buckskin. There's a couple of other pressure flakers in here. So I've got a couple of tools here to, to make more stone tools out of material I might find. Pitch sticks. It's basically primitive glue very effective. They use this to seal up birch bark canoes or seal up containers. I've even seen whole baskets dipped in pitch to make them watertight. 
This is a pretty interesting bit. This is actually agave fiber, but it's, it's got the spike at the end of the leaf intact. So I can use that as a needle and thread. I would have made this a bit, a bit finer, I think, in hindsight, but it'll still do the job. And I usually carry a couple of spare flakes, just waste flakes, to do... Oh, there's some birds flying over. Um, these are just odd job type tools, little sawing tools, carving tools, anything that I don't want to use my, my nicer knives on. Um, if I don't want to risk damaging those, I can just use these flakes. These flakes are pretty much expendable, and I can make more if I want. one other pressure flaker there. So that, that gives you an idea of some of the tools that I carry. If I'm, you know, wanting to be pretty primitive, uh, sometimes I just want to work with, with primitive tools, that's all I want to do. So I'll grab this bag and just go out into the bush and um, just, yeah, have fun using uh, Stone Age technology. I think it's a, a really good way of uh, really balancing yourself and, and getting back to the basics and uh, working with just some really honest material and I just really enjoy it so hope you enjoy this video